Hey, so now that I finally got some new parts in the mail, I want to finish the install on this console. Uh, now, for those who haven't seen the first video, this is the AGS-101, or excuse me, 001, that I, uh, the frontlet SP, that I converted over to backlit with the uh, funny playing IPS GBA screen there. And, um, you know, I just set it up with the regular lens. I didn't have anything else at the time. Originally I'd, I'd wanted to do a transparent one, but you know, you gotta work with what you got. And I didn't have what I wanted. So anyway, long story short, I ordered one and here we go. So this is, the, the one that's in here is plastic. I've already taken it apart really. This one here is glass. I'm gonna hopefully install this without breaking it. The problem comes with the fact that this lens here is stuck to the screen with uh, some adhesive. I'm concerned that peeling it up will damage the LCD. It should be fine. I'm really hoping it'll be fine because this adhesive isn't particularly strong, nor is there a ton of it. But you know, I'm gonna use a little bit of heat to help out just in case. And, uh, you know, what's, what's the worst that could possibly happen, right? So the idea here, and I'm just hitting it with the heat gun off screen, or off camera, I guess. Uh, the idea here is the heat should soften up, soften up the adhesive. Um, to be honest, if there wasn't a big old speck of dust under the screen where, where my thumbnail is, I probably wouldn't bother because even though some of the LCD area is cut off, I mean, it, it's, it's really not enough that it's a big deal. It doesn't bother me. You don't lose much, if anything. Because, I mean, to be honest, if the game has a point of interest that far on the edge of the screen, you know, what, what else are you missing, really? Um, you know, let's start with this side. But these screens are just so thin, I'm worried about breaking them. I got some floss, too, that I might try, but this seems like it's releasing pretty good, or pretty easily. The, uh, the heat was definitely a good idea. So, I'm going to give that a quick wipe down, get all the big chunks of dust off. And now that the lens is off, you can see how much of the screen you're supposed to be able to see. Uh, this is not going to turn out well, is it? You know what I should have bought as well? Some compressed air. This install is probably going to suffer for doing this on camera. Uh, but anyway, this is the uh, adhesive strip that it comes with. I'm going to separate out the middle here. And you might as well save these middle bits. 
I mean, even though you can't use it as is to install a gasket on a screen, you can always cut it into pieces for future installs. I mean, the tape itself is perfectly good. It's just not pre-cut. Also, it might be easier if you physically detach the screen, but I want this test grid up so I can see the edges and make sure I'm not cutting anything off. And for those who aren't aware, this test grid is, of course, this test grid is uh, the AGS aging, as in A-G-I-N-G, -G, cart. Despite the name, it is a Game Boy Advance testing tool, not specifically a Game Boy Advance SP testing tool, but I don't know. Nintendo's weird like that. But this tool was made to calibrate screens and uh, test consoles from the factory. All right, I'm just going to get that as centered as possible. Again, this is a clear lens, so it doesn't matter. You're going to see the whole thing regardless. But I'm going to get it as close as possible. Okay, now this is the hard part here. I'm going to peel off the... Well, I say hard part. I seriously doubt it's going to be that hard. There we go. I couldn't find the edge. Peel off both sides. Try not to touch anything other than the edges. And, uh... Goodness, I hope there's no dust in there. I'm going to be in for a very bad day when I flip this over find dust. Hmm. I don't know the best way to do this. I'm just going to hope for the best. Eh. It's a little bit over to the right, but I think it's I think it's fine. Pressure. I didn't see any big chunks of dust though, so that's a good thing. Ugh. This ribbon is literally the worst. that look kind of shitty without screws it honestly looks like there's no lens at all like there's just that black plat that black gasket surrounding the screen edge with nothing else. Like, you know, if you touch it, your finger's gonna hit adhesive. I love it. There you go. How do you think that looks? Because I think it looks fantastic. I didn't break anything. Oh man, I got the gasket crooked. <laughs> uh... 
because that's not going to bug me. I mean, it's not actually covering any of the screen, but you can see the gasket is slightly askew. It never fucking ends!